Hello Techies! Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add a new XML element into an XML document by using insert XML element action. Before that, let me recap about the set XML element attribute action as well as set XML element value action. Let's open the set XML element attribute action. If you see over here, if you want to update the attribute with the name of age, then we are going to give the name over here as is, and then we will give the respective value over here to update inside the XML element or to set an XML element attribute value. All right? Or else, if I want to add a new name of the attribute, in that case, what I will do in the export query, whatever we have given for the node student, Okay, if I want to add some different attribute name which are not available, let's assume if I want to give the name as test, in that case, I will add the new XML element attribute to the particular XPath query. All right, this is about the set XML element attribute. But the same kind of feature, let's assume if I don't have that element inside the particular XPath, then we can't add it with the set xml element value by using set xml element value action we can just set the value of the particular element only for and suppose here you can see over here inside the node name i am having the element as first name let assume if i don't have the element of age in that case it will throw an error like element is not found all right so to add a new XML element inside the XML document, there we are having the action called insert XML element. Let me drag and drop this insert XML element action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. What are the parameters that we have? The default parameter for the XML actions, XML document. What is the XML document from read XML from file action? that we got the flow variable as XML document by reading the entire XML file. All right. Now you want to add the XML element. Let me show you an example over here. If you see over here, what I'm having inside the students teachers node, I'm having students inside that I'm having student inside that I'm having the node again name at the child. If you see over here, the elements I'm having first name and the last name. Right now, let's assume I want to add a new element below this one as surname. Okay, in that case, I want to add a new XML element over here in the XPath query. Right, that I'm going to give the element name as surname. All right, now how can I go ahead and do that? You can see over here, I'm having the path over here. I'm going to give the XPath query as students teacher slash students slash student slash name. So up to, you can see over here, up to here, the node, the child node till over here, we are having the node where we need to add the element. All right. Now, now we want to insert the element, XML element. If you see over here, I want to add only XML nodes. Now, how can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use surname tags over here. I'm just giving some name over here as Portuganti. And then I'm going to give over here the end of the tag as surname. This is the format which you have to give over here whenever you are going to insert an XML element. The starting of the tag as well as the end of the tag with the slash. Okay. Now the entire value will be stored inside the XML document after inserting the element. Let's click on save. Now I'm going to write the I'm, for the time being, I'm going to disable this set XML element value. And then what I'm going to do, whatever the XML document has been inserted with the element value as surname, I'm going to write it into the students and teachers.xml. And then finally, I'm going to display the flow over here as successful. All right. Let me show you once again the example over here. Right now, you are having first name and last name over here. Once you have executed the flow, what will happen? You will get another element over here as surname. All right. 
Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now if you see, flow has been executed successfully. Let's click on OK. Now let me go back to my XML once again. If you see, I don't have, let me refresh this XML once again. Now if you see over here, first name is Will, last name is Smith, and you can see as additional or inserted new XML element as surname along with the value. All right. I hope you understand how to work with insert XML element as part of the XML automation. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.